Puts his hands in the air, but he's not even close to being on time. Comes towards Tosin Ricketts, it's Ricketts! Tosin Ricketts, the Canadian international, breaks the deadlock here with his first Toronto FC goal. over Real Salt Lake, Danielle Emanuel and Gareth Wheeler here with you. And it was just a couple weeks ago that Tosin Ricketts made his debut for Toronto FC against DC United. He hit the post and he said he <laughs> couldn't sleep for nights after that. Tonight, he redeems himself. Well, we'll see if he sleeps tonight. He might be too excited to go to bed. That goal in the 68th minute was the difference. One word, Danielle, speed. It kills. Getting past it, Pacey, Tony Beltran, to score his first goal in the MLS. A very good goal at that. And that's one thing over the course of the season season that this team was looking for some added pace up front a difference maker proper flick on by Josie Altidore and with Ricketts instinctually jumping on the ball like that and finishing just what the doctor ordered with the two substitutes combining top goal for Toronto FC and a memory for Tuss and Ricketts and while that is the moment of the match the man of the match Alex Bono yeah absolutely two big saves one on Yao Platz and one on Javier Morales both instinctive and what I liked about them Danielle is the way that he read the play made up his mind and come out and limited time space and while cutting down the angle they're both crucial saves in this match never mind calling him bones I'm calling him the man of the match tonight and in the 78th minute you could just hear the chance by the fans surrounding BMO field it was a memorable moment for Alex Bono and we had the opportunity to catch up with him post game as a team we have nine clean sheets you know clean sheets to me are, are not a goalkeeper statistic it's it's something that you know a goalkeeper can't earn on his own uh, it's, not, it's a whole team effort from start to finish so honestly it felt like my first goal for Canada here at BMO and uh, this, this is a uh, this is a special place for me and uh, I, I love to play here Perhaps the most impressive statistic coming out of this game is the fact that Toronto FC has nine clean sheets on the season. That's a record for this franchise. What a turnaround. Six for Clint Irwin, now three for Alex Bono. And overall, the team has conceded the third fewest goals in MLS on the season. It's a testament to the players involved and the complete buy-in. TFC finished tonight's game with three center halves and three strikers in Ricketts, Altidore, and Javinko. And the fact that Altidore is willing to commit himself to playing defensive football in more of a midfield role Old, speaks volumes of the player and the mindset of this team. The commitment to defending is what's going to make this team an MLS Cup contender and bodes well for this team moving forward. And that allowed Tosin Ricketts to play up top with yes. Sebastian Javinko, which paid dividends for this side tonight. You could not wipe the smile off of his face. Well, after the game, you heard him say that this reminded him of his first career international goal. He scored 12 of them, the first coming right here at BMO Field back on June 1st of 2011, scoring a stoppage time equalizer in a friendly against Ecuador and our good friend Terry Dunfield <laughs> happened to score a 35 yard rocket in that match as well. So a memorable night for Ricketts and it bodes well also for him playing here going forward with a lot of home games to come this season. Just as you said, another three points allows Toronto FC to move up to second place in the Eastern Conference with a game in hand. They will conclude this homestand on Saturday as they will host New England Revolution. For all of your other post game interviews and reaction, make sure you head over to torontofc.ca.